hello guys welcome back to the channel um mark here and today we are back with creating a model in react or next.js so um, our main objective in the past video if you want to see how we came up with this application just go back to uh, the next.js playlist and then see how we came about everything in here so um in this video what we're going to be doing is that we want a pop-up made pop-up model um and um, to do that to achieve that we're going to use the react player and the react model so when a user clicks on this watch now so because right now i'm clicking on it when a user clicks on it it's going to pop up a model uh, that will contain the react player without further ado let's get into the video So now guys, the first thing that we're gonna do to achieve our objective is that we are gonna add a method here that is gonna be, um, first things first. So uh, we're gonna add a method here that is gonna handle the pop-up model, okay? But before doing that, um, let's first import our React model. I had commented it out here. Remember in the first video we, came up with everything that can, you know, propose the React model. I'm gonna go through this again and I'll show you how this pretty much works. So now let me go and uncomment that and then make sure that this is imported, okay? I'll comment that as well. So just pretty much you need to install the React model. I showed you how to do that, but basically what you're gonna do is to open up your terminal and then type npm install React model, okay? So now I've already installed this and uh, we can just move forward to the next step. So after importing that, the next thing that we're gonna need is to import um, React player. Again, uh, from React player, okay? Again, so this React player, you're gonna need to install it as well, all right? Just go ahead and install npm, um, just type npm on yarn install uh, React player. So these are the two um, libraries that we're gonna be using to achieve this. So now the first thing that we do is to instantiate the React, just like you create uh, an H1 tag. So we'll say model and then, I mean, open it up and then close it up. So now the model has a bunch of things that follow it up, okay? It has these attributes that can be used to achieve the goal. So the first one is, is called is open. Okay, so is open is pretty much taking in um, the instantiation of this method. Okay, and um, this is what's gonna check if the model is open. And how do we achieve that? Is that we're gonna create, come back over here, and then create um, a use state instantiation. Okay, so um, you will see. Um, so you, you 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 can see you can feel free to name this whatever you want so but we're gonna name it is open because that's what we've used down below and then we shall have the set is set model is open okay and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna give this a boolean state okay so um we're gonna instantiate it to false save that and then the next thing is that we want to get um the state that checks whether our video is being pressed or clicked on you know to get the state of the watch button okay and then how we can do that is to create um why do I create this? So is, is to create a model here. I mean a state. Let's say we can name it selected movie. Okay. Selected movie. And then uh, set 
selected movie. So now what we're gonna do is to uh, assign that false. Okay. Again, this is gonna be the state for the model. Initially, we're gonna um, assign it to false because we don't want the model to open right away as soon as the page loads. So it's gonna be false. And then we're gonna have another um, instance where um, when a user clicks on the button, okay, that's when the movie is selected. We want to get, so remember that we have so many watch now buttons and we just want to get the state of that particular button that is held and this is going to be the state of it. So now, now that we have this, all we're going to do is to come back here, okay, is open then assign it that model is open okay this so at the moment it's false so the model should not show up initially okay and then we're gonna create another method that is closed okay and then um what to do how to do that we're just gonna pretty much create a function in here uh, we don't need this anymore So we're gonna we're gonna create a con, uh, const method, then close. Um, we can name it. Uh, what name? What name did I give it? Close model. Okay. Close model. So now this is where we're gonna create our lambda function, because we just wanna store whatever that is in there. And then so what we're gonna do? We're gonna get um this um, method model okay so in case the user presses the close model okay model is open that's when it should be false okay so if the user presses model is open it should be false okay and then set um, selected movie to now okay this is gonna default everything back what do I mean if the user presses the watch now button or presses anywhere that is not the watch now button the model will close okay however we need a function that handles the watching movies okay and then we're gonna call that handle um, uh, um handle watch what name did we give that How, did we even have a name yet watch now oh okay we just need to create handle watch now okay and we shall create another lambda expression in here and this is what's going to handle as soon as the user presses the watch now, then that's when we can assign a movie to this method. OK, so when the user, um, when first of all, we need the model to open. OK, so uh, we're going to say model is open. And then in here, OK, we shall assign that to true. OK, and then set selected movie this is where we're gonna assign the actual movie so we are passing in the movie in here okay <clears throat> and at this point everything pre is pretty much set let me just take you through what is going on here okay actually I'm gonna flip this over I don't think it really matters but um, just to be on a safer side okay so when a user clicks on the watch now button, we're going to assign this method to the watch now button, right? And then we shall assign a movie to the selected movie. So here, this will hold, initially it's now, but now if you press that watch now button, it will be assigned a movie object, okay? And the model will also be assigned to true. So now when we come to the model, 
is open, it's going to get this. It's going to call this function model is open and model is open will check for initially it's going to be false but then when the user clicks on it okay it will be true so that model will pop up okay and then now that model so these are just basically styles you can pretty much look up this but what's going on is that um this is like creating an alt you know on an image so uh, yeah you know just in case the video does not show up then this will um, you know the text will show so the styles I'm just gonna assign um, um, this is the overlay this is pretty much I I'm gonna show you what this this is like a color okay for the uh, video just like you watch I'll, I'll show you what this is and then so in here in here this is where we're gonna assign the react player okay and then I'm gonna show you how the react player works so the react player Okay, the React player is going to loop through the selected movie because we remember we said this React player should be assigned a movie. At the moment, it does not know. So take a look. It won't, this won't happen because, oh, I need to assign uh, the watch now. So here, what I'm going to do is say on click. Okay, on click. And then here is where... I'll assign this method just open up the model okay so you see that these things all work in a hierarchy so when when the on click is pressed it will call upon the model is open and when the model is open it will call upon it will call upon oh, for some reason the mouse okay it will call upon the react player okay all right so the model when the model uh, pops up it will call upon the react player so take a look the react player does not have any value right now let's go ahead and save this and see what happens reload and then there you go so there is an error because it does not have anything at the moment but you can see that it's you know active so let's go ahead in the next video and activate the react player see how it works so I look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.